Okay, this video is going to be about finding the equation of a line when you're given two points on the line, and I'm going to do it this time using the point-slope method. So these are the two points we had in the other video, and let's use them again just to make sure we still get the same answer. So the first thing I want to do is find the slope, and that's going to be the same thing I did last time. So I've got the formula for slope, m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And I'll call this x sub 1 and y sub 1. And I'll call this x sub 2 and y sub 2. So I'm going to take the y sub 2, negative 2, and subtract y sub 1, so that's minus 3. And then I'll take the x sub 2, which is 8, and subtract x sub 1, which is negative 2. Do my subtraction, I get negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. And 8 minus negative 2 is the same as 8 plus 2. So that's 10, negative 5 over 10. And that equals negative 1 half. So the slope is negative 1 half. Okay, now that we've got the slope, And let's remember the two points. They were negative 2, comma, 3, and 8, comma, negative 2. What we're going to do this time is use the point-slope form of the equation. So you remember that was, let's see, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x, whoops, x minus x sub 1. And now what we have to do is plug in some numbers. So I've got y minus, and I think when I did the equation last time using the other form, I did this pair. So let's use this ordered pair, 8 and negative 2. So I'll call that y sub 1 and I'll call this, I'm sorry, x sub 1, and I'll call this y sub 1. Okay, so I want y minus y sub 1. Well, that's minus negative 2 equals m. Well, m is my slope, so that's negative 1 half times x minus x sub 1, which is 8. Okay, so this is y minus negative 2. Well, minus negative 2 is plus 2 equals distributing the negative 1 half. Negative 1 half x minus 1 half times negative 8. Well, a negative times a negative will give me a plus. And then I've got 1 half of 8, and that's 4. And again, I can weave it like this in a point-slope form. Or I can turn it into a y equals mx plus b form by isolating this y. So let's do that. I'll subtract 2 from both sides. And I'm going to get y equals negative 1 half x plus 2. So this should be my answer. I think that's the same thing I got last time. And let's take the other pair, the pair I didn't use, negative 2 and 3, and check this. So I'm going to plug in negative 2 for y, for x, and 3 for y. Okay, so instead of this y, I'm putting in a 3, equals negative 1 half. For the x, I'm using negative 2. 1 half times negative 2 plus 2. So I get 3 equals, let's see, negative 1 half times negative 2. Negative times negative is positive, and 1 half of 2 is 1. So I've got 1 plus 2, and since 3 equals 3, this equation will work. y equals negative 1 half plus 2. So to summarize this, the first step you're going to do what we did over here was take the two points 
and using the formula for slope, y, m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, you're going to plug in those points and find your slope. Then, when you've got your slope, you're going to take the slope and one pair of points, one, one, one ordered pair, it doesn't matter which one you use, and plug the slope and the ordered pair into your point-slope form of the equation. So we plug that in, we do the math, and that will give you the equation for the line. You can check the equation by taking the ordered pair that you didn't use and plugging that in for x and y and making sure that the equation balances. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Take care, and I'll see you next time.